right, in problems 7 through 10, we're supposed to write and solve an absolute value inequality for each expression, graph the solutions on a number line. So starting with number 7, let's look at that. All numbers whose absolute value is less than or equal to 15. So all numbers, we'll let x represent all numbers whose absolute value is less than or equal to 15. All right, this will, this breaks into x less than or equal to 15, x greater than or equal to negative 15. If we apply this to a number line, here's negative 15, here's 15, here's 0. So equals 2 means it's dark in circles points and x less than 15 means we're going this direction x greater than negative 15 means we're going this direction so it's going to be all the points in between this is an and it is a conjunction and we can write this as let's get rid of this for a minute place this with x so x is less than or equal to 15 and greater than or equal to negative 15. Number 8. All numbers that have an absolute value greater than 7. So <clears throat> all numbers, again being x, that have an absolute value greater than 7. This breaks into x greater than 7, x less than negative 7. So going to the number line, Here's 0, here's 7, here's negative 7. No equals on this inequality, so these are open circles. Um, <clears throat> x greater than 7 means all the, all the points on the line going to the right. x less than negative 7, all the points on the line going to the left. This is an or. This is a disjunction. And we would write this as x greater than 7. There's my or, x less than negative 7. All right, 9 and 10 are a little trickier, but I think we can get this. So <clears throat> here we go. We're going to actually start with the number line on these. So that will help us to decipher what this inequality is. So it says all numbers less than three units from two. So two is kind of our focus. So we're going to write two there. And let's go four units out in both directions. So all numbers less than three units from two. So if I go to three units out in both directions from two, one, two, three, open circle there because it's not counting the, the, all the way up to but not including the third unit. Go three units this direction. Okay. So what do we got here? Two, three, four. This is five right here. This is, uh, let's see, two, one, zero, negative one. So we want, so this is all the numbers less than three units from two right here. What does that look like to you? looks like a conjunction to me. If I had to write this, I would go x less than 5 greater than negative 1. It is a conjunction. Now, here's a couple little tricks. If they ask you to write this as an absolute value inequality, here's what you do. Notice that this is 3 units this way three units that way. Okay? Three units on either side of two. So, the way we would write this conjunction uh, as an absolute value, we would go absolute value absolute value of x minus two. So, the center number goes inside the absolute value symbol. And then, what do we know about 
conjunction, so it's usually a less than. So this is going to be less than, and how many units? We're looking at three. Three units from the center. So this number is going to go on the outside of that inequality. So if you can remember those two rules, uh, you should be able to quickly be able to write an absolute value inequality uh, given, I think the best thing to do is start off by drawing, drawing the um, number line, drawing the restrictions, and then coming up with the uh, conjunction or disjunction. So let's try that with number 10. So from 8, right? So I think 8 is going to be our center. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go 8 right here. At least 2, so let's go 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. All numbers at least 2 units from 8. So at least means more than. At least means more than. So if we go out two units from eight in both directions, this time it's going to be a darkened circle. Now it could be more than, so we can go more in this direction, we can go more in this direction. Gee, that looks like a disjunction to me. What are these two numbers? Looks like that's ten and that's six. So this is going to be a disjunction. Right? Now, <clears throat> so think about this. Our middle number is 8. Right? Our middle number is 8. So we're going to go absolute value x minus 8. Now, disjunctions are greater than, right? So we're going to do greater than, dark in circles, so it's an equals to. How many units out away from the center are we? I'm hoping that you're going to say 2, Mr. Level Ford, because that would be correct. So that 2 goes out here. So there is, my, there is my absolute value inequality for this particular situation. Now, what would this disjunction be if I, so that, well, how would we write this right here? Wouldn't we go um, x is greater than or equal to 10? This would be x less than or equal to 6. And there would be an or in between, right? So hopefully that's clear. If not, we'll try some more.